Good afternoon, family and friends, and welcome once again to Coco's Cucina. Thank you guys so very much for following me and being subscribers. I appreciate you guys very, very much. Um, if you are new to the channel, I truly, 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 truly do appreciate you. And if you are browsing and happen up on my video and find it in your spirit, to click on the subscribe button. I'm thanking you in advance for that. I thank you guys so much. Also, you can like the video, you can leave me a comment, and most of all, guys, you can share this video with your family and friends. Also, that uh, notification bell, guys, um, that's right there to your right. If you click on it, it will notify you of any new and upcoming video that I release. So today, guys, I am doing a swordfish packet, a swordfish pack, it, swordfish packet. So in case you don't know what a swordfish looks like, this is what it looks like. That is the swordfish. So that is what we are going to be preparing today. And if you want to know uh, what it tastes like, it states that the swordfish, uh, it tastes, it has a sweet taste to it. Um, it says, let's see. It says that those who have never tried this fish before often wonder what it tastes like, including me. Unlike most kinds of fish, this one, when cooked, doesn't have that specific fishy scent or that specific fishy scent and savor. Instead, the meat of the fish has a mild and slightly sweet taste and its pinkish, pinkish flesh turns beige after cooked. So that's what we are going to prepare today, guys, is a packet. And when I say a packet, I'm going to wrap it up in my uh, parchment paper and uh, double it up with my foil. So the way that I am going to get this started, guys, is the first thing I want to do uh, is go ahead and place it on my parchment paper. And then I want to go ahead and hit it just a couple of times on each side with my um, EVOO. Okay, and for my seasoning, guys, I'm just going to use a little bit of pepper and just a little bit of adobo seasoning. And this is a, a fish seasoning. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. Okay. So that is the Fish. I have it sprayed with a little bit of EVOO, and I also have it sprinkled just a little bit with black pepper and a little bit of adobo for seafood. So here I have a little bit of thyme, and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of thyme on the top, flip it over guys and we're gonna put the rest of that on here like so okay so then i'm gonna go ahead and place me a couple of lemons on the top and a couple of lemons on the bottom like so 
Actually, I'm gonna do three and three. Okay, so, let's see here. I'm just gonna spray the sides of my uh, parchment paper. Okay guys, so that is my packet. I do have my oven already set at 400 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and place that on a dish and I am going to bake this on my top rack for approximately 20 minutes. And I will be back and I will show you the results. I'm also doing a um, spiral zucchini packet. Um, it's really supposed to go in with my swordfish, but I don't really cook like that unless it's beef or something like that. I need my fish to just be by itself with the lemons and then I'm gonna do my uh, vegetables separate, okay? So I'm gonna put this on my baking dish. I'm gonna set it in the oven. We're gonna set the timer for about 20 minutes and then we'll be back and we'll reveal the dish. Okay guys? All right, family, we have just taken this out of the oven. See the juices, and that juice is from the lemons and the steam that has been locked in with this parchment paper. Guys, if you have never ever cooked fish in parchment paper, I definitely recommend you to cook fish with parchment paper. It is simply the best. That's the only way, not the only way I'll cook my salmon, but try preparing it in parchment paper and see what you think. So yes, this is my swordfish packet, guys. See if it's a little tender. A little hot, I can tell you that much. All right, guys, so here we go with the baked swordfish packet topped with lemons. Very, very, very good, guys. And um, I will probably come back a little bit later. I'm gonna let it cool down and have a bite with you guys, okay? So, thank you. Good evening, good evening, good evening, family and friends, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Coco's Cucina. Uh, we are here getting ready to have a bite together, and we have my uh, swordfish packet that was cooked with the lemon baked 
with the lemon in the um, oven, guys. And we have the kiwa. And zucchini. The zucchini I just kind of like uh, did a spiral and I just kind of put it in a microwave and I just topped it with a little bit of um, Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and get the food blessed and we're going to eat. All right, so bless the Lord. Make me truly thankful for what I'm about to receive and the nourishment of my body in Christ's sake. In Jesus' name, I love and thank you. Amen. All right, guys. So, let's see if we can get a little glimpse of the food here. And less of me. Okay. So again, this is swordfish, and this was done in a packet, and the packet was the um, foil and uh, uh, not wax paper, but uh, I think you guys know what I'm talking about, the wax paper. Why is good. Mm. Swordfish is very nice. I don't get the sweet taste that everybody stated that it it had. I don't taste that. Um, I was thinking on the more on the on the side of uh, Ruffy, Orange Ruffy, when they kept saying sweet. But <clears throat> I don't get a sweet taste. Um, I'm just trying to see what do I get. It's very funny because it's not very fishy. At all. Nice thick cutlets though. Very expensive. For the two cutlets that I got, it was like $28. So, it was very expensive, but it's good. It's definitely good. I only did a half of that zucchini and um, honestly I only used a little bit of cheese but it looks like I used a lot. That lemon really and truly sets this off. And you know, I have lemon on the bottom and lemon on, I had lemon on the bottom and lemon on the top, so. And you saw the seasonings.
very good. So, let's talk about you guys. What's going on in your worlds and your area? Um, I finally got my uh, plumbing done. Um, <clears throat> you know, I had um, some type of a backup in my basement. So got that taken care of. Thank God. Um, my pipes burst in the greenhouse, which we just cut that source off because that, that water source doesn't come into the house. So, we just cut that off until, you know, the weather gets better and, you know, it's not a big deal. It was the heating source down there. It was heated by those old school heaters that ran water through them. So, that was the heating source. So... We just shut that off and uh, and that's good, but it's still snow, you know, out. And I think I read somewhere where we're supposed to get a few more inches on Wednesday. Um, I really am kind of like uh, for real over it. I mean, for real, for real. It's like in the summertime, you know, you want the weather to kind of cool down. But, you know, if we could have a longer fall, you know, meaning 50s and 60s, that would be beautiful. That would be amazing. But it's like the fall here in Missouri. Man, it is short. For real, for real. So, yeah, cooking this here in that um, parchment paper, guys, and then following it up with the uh, aluminum foil. Excellent. Excellent for maintaining the moisture. And if you've never... Uh, cook your salmon that way in parchment paper. My goodness, I do suggest it. It is such an awesome way of preparing fish. I'm not certain if it gives you the exact same results as cooking in aluminum foil. Um, you know, I try my best not to cook with a lot of aluminum foil. You know, if I need to, I will, but this parchment paper is the ticket. So 
So have you guys been doing any traveling at all? I know everybody is just itching. And what about the shop? How are you guys feeling about that? Let me know in the comment section. How do you feel about the shot? Are you going to go ahead and get it? Um... Uh, what I have a couple of people a couple of my friends that are in the uh, medical field and they've had it and very minor very very minor symptoms I just don't know guys that all happened so quickly you know we've been struggling with cancer and diabetes and you name it for years and in a year or less than a year to come up with a A drug kind of scares me or and it just makes me think you know makes me feel some kind of way you know if you could hurriedly find a cure or not necessarily a cure but some sort of protection for this COVID-19, why can you not do the very same thing after billions and billions and billions of dollars being spent on cancer? That's my question. I know it'll probably never be answered in my lifetime, but it is my question. But listen, guys, I thank you all so much uh, for this video, watching the video, my swordfish video. I hope that you guys try this swordfish. Now, my swordfish came from um, the Whole Paycheck which some people know it as um, Whole Foods. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure you can possibly get it anywhere, but that's where mine was purchased. So, anyway, I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for rocking with me. Um, yeah, you can tell I'm almost, I am ready for bed. I'm going to be up just a couple of more hours. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to call it a night kind of early. All right. And this is day number six, guys, of my 14-day challenge. All right. Love you guys and talk soon.